happy? Okay. <laughs> so the first riff again. Uh, uh, counting, tapping. Don't forget to tap. Tapping is so important. Don't not tap. So the left hand, one and two. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> let's just do that concept again where you're going. If this is your beat, one, these are quarter notes. Straight eights go like this. You go one and two and three and four and, right? So it's flat, straight. Now we do uh, the swing. Comes from a triplet, which would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But now we're just going to count the one and the three. So one, three, one, three, one, three, one. Or in how we say it, one and two and three and four. And, and notice we say one and two and three and four. And it's the same as one and two and three and four. And that is straight. One and two and three and four. And swing, we inject that rest and the triplet. So it's the same name, but it sounds different. One and two and three and four. And so it's just like your shuffle. So what we're always trying to do is we, we use all this analysis, we get deep into it and do all the counting so that ultimately you can forget it and just go. And you'll be solid, right? That's, that's what the analysis is for. Um, so on this one, it's really important because it's really kind of strange uh, that you tap and count. So we are swinging, right? If you look at the main riff, you're playing on beat one with the left hand, beat one, the and of two, uh, and on beat four. So if I go um, one, two, I'm oh, sorry, one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five. And so I'm doing the shuffle with my words. Um, and then the right hand, and of one, three, and five. So we go one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and one, and two, and three. It's really important to do this slow, really get it into your system, and then it'll be easy to speed up, because the tune is quite a bit quicker than this. But you're going to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So, and then when we put them together, left on beat one, right on the and of beat one, left on the end of beat two, right on three, left on four, right on five. So I'm still going one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five. So I'm in my head, this is always going. Explains a lot about me. Cha -cha, cha -cha. Uh, <laughs> So then, the bridge. Uh, the bridge is a pattern. First of all, we're in the key. I don't know if you, do you know G flat major? You know G flat major scale? It's all black keys and then B and F, basically. Anyway, uh, two chords in the right hand. This one and this one. They just go back and forth. So G flat, B flat, B, E flat. And then you scooch over one in the scale. F, A flat, B flat, D flat, right? And then the very last chord. A flat minor. But the rhythm is, is pretty consistent for the whole bridge. It's almost the same as that main riff, except for there's nothing on beat three in the right hand. So if you look, left hand on beat one, right hand and of one, left hand and of two, and then nothing on beat three, uh, left hand on beat four, right hand on beat five. Exactly the same as the main riff, except for no right hand on B3. See that? Mm -hmm. And that's what it is for this whole thing. Uh, except for measure six, where there's nothing in the right hand on B5, and the last measure, 10, where there's nothing. Okay. So I'll play that. Uh, one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and 
Okay? Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of notes, but there is a pattern. Uh, if you know your scale. G flat major. You may realize. Uh, if you take the first beat of every measure, it's going B, B flat, A flat, G, which is just walking down the scale of G flat. And then, furthermore, you're adding a pattern. So if you go... Uh, B and uh, what is that? E flat. And you, in other words, skip a note in the scale and you keep going. It does that. Yay. How nice. And then you add this note, which is actually just the next note in the scale. So you play this chord. Okay. Take a minute to figure that out. Mm -hmm. um, it'll help. That's basically what's happening again on the at the and it happens twice, uh, and then the last measure here. So that would be measure six and measure ten. There's a special surprise waiting for you <laughs> that deviates slightly from the pattern. But mm -hmm. um, anyway, it's mm -hmm. good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I'm sending you riffs. I mean riffs. Uh, Playalongs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sevente